research project. Step one, choose your topic. Where can you get ideas for a topic? Consider these places. The news. What science headlines have you seen? The internet. Have you heard of any new discoveries or studies? Or your textbook. Is there a topic you want to learn more about? A library tip. Sign up for a free New York Times account so you can monitor science headlines on your own. To do this, go to our library databases page, find the newspapers box, and click New York Times free web access. Create your free account using your college email address. Step two, start with some background information. Here's another library tip. A great place to start is Credo Reference, one of our reference databases. Find it under Quick Links on the library homepage. It's near the bottom of the page on the right. Credo Reference provides detailed summaries on all different types of topics to help you get acquainted and figure out what direction you'd like to take your research in. You can do a keyword search at the top or browse. For example, under Sciences, I can browse the topic Climate Change. In addition to the Climate Change Overview articles, there's a great tool called the Mind Map. This shows you how different topics and concepts relate to one another and may help you figure out where you'd like to go with your research. For example, right now we have climate change in the middle with different ideas branching off. I can expand any one of these ideas and keep branching off until I've found something that's interesting and manageable for a research project. Feel free to play around with the mind map tool for any of your topics. Here I've gone from climate change, to greenhouse gas, to fossil fuel, and finally, wind power. Step 3. Ask a question. Narrow down your topic by asking yourself what you'd like to find out through your research. For example, how has the vehicle industry response impacted the effects of climate change? Step four is to come up with some good keywords for searching for sources on your topic. Here's a tip. Write down as many keywords and phrases that relate to your topic as you can think of and try them all. Searching with various keywords can help you get the most and best articles. Step five is choosing a database to perform your article search. Databases are special collections of articles. They include peer-reviewed and professional journals, and they're especially available to you as an NVCC student. A library tip is to look on your course research guide for suggested databases. You can find research guides on the library homepage, scroll to find your subject listed alphabetically, and select your course guide. For example, in microbiology, this tab includes suggested databases for article searches. Step six is to begin gathering and evaluating your sources. How can you evaluate your articles? Here are a few things that you can look for on each article. The date, is the article current? The author, what are their credentials? And finally, the sources. Does the article include a list of references? The last step is to create your reference list or a list of sources that you've cited within your paper. For help, we have citation guides for APA, MLA, and more styles. Find it on the library homepage under Access Databases. Look in the center of the page for the citation guides link. Here, you'll find resources for setting up your paper and citing your sources in various styles. When you receive a research assignment, remember, we're here for you at every step of the way. To get in touch, you can chat with us, text us, call us, email us, or book a virtual research appointment. For these options, visit nve.edu library.